cussing that? No, because nobody cusses on YouTube. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Nobody says fuck, shit, piss, damn, motherfucker, cunt, or tits on YouTube. Well. Maybe we should get this bitch on the road. <laughs> Friday Night Flights, Travis, Chad, from, give, give the people your spiel. Uh, well, I'm, my spiel, I like to drink beer. <laughs> You're on a little show yeah. though, aren't you? Oh yes, well that, I'm on uh, another podcast called Bad Flicks, and uh. And he's real excited about it, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'm tired, I've been there since 3 a.m., okay? <laughs> We're uh, live on Thursday nights mm -hmm. at uh, badflix.net. The dot net's important. So if you go to the other one, it's, it's not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> we just talk about TV, movies, and you know, random tangents and whatever else we want to talk about. Well, enough about you. Let's get to beer. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the good shit. So we're here at a hidden gem. This is Wet Head Brewing. They are just, uh, it's a homebrew operation that kind of just exploded. Uh, this guy basically made a bar in his garage. You can see the door. It's a garage door. It's a garage door. It's a real garage door because we're in a real garage right now. So, first one on the list here is the White River Blonde. Now, we're doing the first four are the four that he started with. The original. The original four. Uh, so, this is the White River Blonde Ale. It's a uh, 5.2% and... Uh, 12 IBUs. But no, this is really good. I mean, this is a great way to start off this show. Uh, this is super light, but it's got a lot of flavor. It lets you know what it is, and it doesn't linger. It doesn't have that crazy Belgian yeast blonde, you know, golden ale bullshit. So, yeah, I like that. I like that. That's easy to drink. This is That's perfect for summertime, man. That's number one down. That's one down. Which which one is this one? That would be the Slaughter Amber Ale. Is I this believe. the sl is this the second one? Is this the Slaughter guys? I love how I can tell just by the color. It's a professional. He's such a pro. Or an alcoholic. Yeah. One of the two. No. Alcoholics are professional drinkers. So this is the Slaughter Amber. The Slaughter Amber. Five point four percent. Twelve point six IBUs. Can you taste the point six? You goddamn right you can taste the point six. I like that. It's good. It's not a little like, bit of an aftertaste, more so than the blonde, mm -hmm. but it's still good enough to just sit back and yeah, I can drink this all night. This is almost like it's this borders on like a pale. Yeah. But it has that amber like kind of forward. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's been, it's got a nice color. It's an amber color. It's, yeah, I mean, this, is, an amber. this this is what they found the mosquito in in Jurassic Park. Uh, beer? Yeah. Uh, it was drunk as fuck. Why, why do you, you think the, why do you think those those <laughs> things ran amok, dude? They're all from a drunk mosquito. I guess next is the uh, Mud Mountain. Mud Mountain Brown. Nut Brown. I put some nuts in my mouth. That's why I don't eat peanuts or hot dogs. It wouldn't be the first time. Just don't do that today. I don't put wieners in my mouth. <laughs> I don't. So, uh, Mud Mountain. Or salty nuts. Well, you gotta have them salty, though. How else are you gonna know they're there? Shower them up. <laughs> Mud Mountain Nut Brown Ale. Uh, 6.3%. Uh, 23 IBUs. Damn. Thank you, Flat. It's got a good flavor up front. It's uh, I'm not usually a huge brown ale fan, but uh, it's uh, this tastes more like a homebrew than the others. I would definitely say it's got that kind of right at the end. It's got that kind of like yeah. little sour, but not I mean bad. that flavor is so good up front. It's so complex. I I wouldn't I'm not gonna kick it out of my mouth. I'm gonna drink this whole thing. <laughs> Don't say that when I got something. <laughs> 
Okay, so I usually show like how the flights work and stuff here, but they don't they don't have like a tray or anything, but it's cool because they're right here. And if you yeah. forget which one you're drinking, they'll tell you. Which one you're drinking. Which is kind of nice. So this is the is this the porter? Yeah. This is the porter. Black Black River Porter. Black River Porter. Black River Porter and I love me a porter. Oh god, it smells so good right up front. Don't uh, jizz in it before we drink it. I already did. 7.3 percent not fucking up. around uh 23 ibus oh yeah it's terrible you can't have any okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's good that's real good i could drink that right this is exactly what the you want smell. from a porter it's it's got a good coffee yeah. Cocoa y kind of flavor up front, but man, it's. <laughs> if you like Irish Death, you'll like that. Yeah! It, it, I like this better than Irish Death, actually. Mm. You are just gonna jizz in the drain. I already did. Okay. Four times. Wow. That's tasty. I'm like, Dirk, I'm like Dirk Diggler up on this bitch. Oh, heart shot. Like a ninja, son. This guy's been waiting for this. Yes, this I is have. one of my favorite beers that this place makes. And I'm not a huge hot food or hot drink fan, but that is so legit. Oh, you can smell it. Uh-huh. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. It's not just jalapeno. It's like a roasted jalapeno, man. It's tasty. It's earthy. But you want that from this beer yeah. because it it's got well that it. jalapeno. It's not a lot of heat. I remember getting drunk on vodka when I was 13. Mine was 14 in a two liter bottle of California Cooler Orange. Oh, and I puked it all up. Mm, I love some Boons. I like some MD 2020. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, that tastes as good coming back as it does. Going yeah, back. Oh, well, yeah. it's also it you get you, you get a, you get a color show too because yes. it like turns everything blue. So or... all the guys got to drink different colors. So uh -huh. You get it. You just stand in a line and just. Bleh. It's like a live rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> just just a rainbow barf parade. If there's anything, okay, any you guys you don't have to live in the South End, anywhere you live. That's the beer that this place is is worth coming out here for and they're all good they're all fantastic jalapeno, but that jalapeno is so if you don't worth like coming spicy down here food for. Well, fuck you <laughs> drink it anyway so what's this one now that one is going to be your right legs it's your oh level. okay is that in okay this is where is. i might start bowing out <laughs> yeah it was kind of like a, a funk to it i like how it's called the gateway ipa like a gateway drug mm -hmm. yes <laughs> It actually is because it it's almost like you into just doing hard. Right. So this is the, the more fucking hops. <laughs> this is the Rife Lakes, Rife Lakes, IPA, six point three percent, forty nine IBU. So, so but we got to make sure you tell how it's spelled. It's a rye. Well, they're gonna they're gonna see it because I put it up on the screen. Well, I'm just saying they can't see it right now. Well, this isn't a live feed, you jackass. Oh, I'm used to live feeds. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a hybrid beer. This is like a. It's really hard to to put my finger on, but but I can't I can't stop drinking it. It's really good. You probably won't like it though. How about you stop drinking and let me try it? You might not like it. That's what I, I, that's what I can't figure out. I think that's the rye. It's a it's kind of a bitter bitter flavor. Yeah, that's, that's probably the rye. 6.3%. It's it's good. It's not it's not it's not over the top, but it's it's palatable. Yeah. Wetlands BSR. So what is a BSR? This is a bitter sweet red. Ooh, it's a red. Mm -hmm. It has a kind of a sour smell at the front, but I'm really interested in trying it. Thank you. Wow. That jumps right out at you. It's got kind of an odd aftertaste, uh, a little sour, but uh, man, it jumps right out at you, though. Named after the wetlands in Auburn. Hopefully they're not emulating the taste. I could do two or three of these. Yeah. Then I'd have to shit. So this thing is a 6.3%, and this is just over 100 IBUs. 
could be a dirty fucking sailor cock in my mouth. And you know three of those, you wouldn't notice. Said Chad in every hotel room ever. Fuck yes. <laughs> this is good. I mean, this is this is really interesting. It's it's definitely different. It's definitely experimental. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's not something you'd find everywhere. Is it made with the Auburn wetlands water though? That's what's important. That's what gives it that extra little kick at the end. Scooping it out with a pail. Mm, this tastes like herring shit. Found that. I can do two or three of those. Yeah, that's hell good. So is this a flip top fucking bar? Yes. That's yes. awesome. That. That's a real nice setup. That's custom. Kegs have been swapped out. All is right with the world. We are on to the last one of the night. Well, not the last one we're going to drink. No, got it. The last one of the show. <laughs> Clear Creek Falls IPA. 7.8 percent, 101.5 IBUs. Actually, though, but this this batch they said comes in at clocks in at 105 to 106. It's a little hoppier than normal. So let's jump into this motherfucker. God, it's good. It's a really good solid IPA. Um, it's not like a double. It's it's got kind of a nice like uh, toasted flavor. Okay. It's got a real toasted flavor, and uh, it lingers. It lingers. That's more like a. I don't want to say burnt because that seems like bad. It gives connotations of bad. Right. But it's it's burnt. This is hella good. Chipotle. Yeah, that's too much for me right there. That's too spicy. Well, hot. Too hops. Too hop centric. Yeah. Actually, I like that. I mean, I really. I'm not a huge IPA fan, but I do. I do enjoy them. I do appreciate them. No, if they're done proper. Honestly, man, I love the hoppiness of this, though. Wrapped around that tonsil back there. And we're full of them. I do like something hanging on my tonsil from time to time. Just poking it a little bit. Just giving me a little... Just let me know it's there. Let you know it's away. He must not date white guys. No. Cleans his teeth. Hey, let's not get into what kind of meat I enjoy. I prefer a dark cut. Just as much as a light cut. I prefer a tan cut. I like dark cuts. Has any Jewish guy ever had this hair? I don't think so. Me. Well, except Elvis. Or anything else? Wasn't Jew. No. That's what you want to believe. That's what that's what the market. That's what the mass market machine oh. wants you to believe. The Elvis was not a Jew. Not was, a Jew. You ever seen a, a regular white person shake their hips like that? No. Only a Jew. Yeah. Maybe a quarter Jew. Boom. This is good. I like this. That's my new nickname. Ball <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> introduce, introduce our proprietor. The, the, the let him introduce himself. How you doing? I'm Billy Jack, uh, brewer of Wahead Brewery. And Come this, on down and try us out. And this shit's amazing. Here's to the breezes that blow through the treeses, that raise girl skirts is on up to their kneeses. They please with their kneeses and gives diseases, here to snatch down a hatch. Hey, I'll drink to that! Amen. Friday Night Flights! Thank you, dude. Yeah. yeah.